Hey everybody, this is Maxwell Carlisle here. Uh, today I'm going to check out the Metal Muff with Top Boost from Electro Harmonics. Uh, it's a pretty heavy duty distortion pedal. Got a lot of different EQ settings and so forth on it. Uh, we're going to check it out. The equipment I'm using today, I wanted to do something pretty basic here. So I've got an Epiphone SG with a single bridge humbucker and it's going into the clean channel on a Randall RG100 into a Behringer 4x12 cat. Okay, let's check out the uh, Electro Harmonics Metal Muff, see what kind of sick and twisted distortion tones we can get out of this thing. You've got uh, your bypass foot switch over here, turns it on and off. To activate the top boost, you got this foot switch over here. Up on top, we've got a distortion knob, bass, mid, treble, an adjustment for the top boost, and then your volume, your level output over here. Uh, input on this side, output to the amp over here. Okay, this is with the back case cover off. Uh, you can see the battery right here, standard 9 volt. You do have to take these four screws off to get the case off to replace the battery, which can be a little bit of a hassle, but the, the case is uh, is all metal including the backing so it's it's pretty durable okay I've got this thing plugged in now uh, first let's take a listen to the clean tone I've got in the amp it's uh it's actually pretty crunchy for a clean tone anyway okay let's go ahead and turn this thing on I've got uh, the treble middle and bass all just on 12 o'clock distortion I'm gonna put about uh, about 9 o'clock about a quarter of the way up and let's turn it on. Okay. Okay, so that's that's only a quarter of the way on the distortion. And again the EQs are all just right in the middle. Uh, you know, that's already quite a bit of a crunch there. for rhythm work, not a whole lot of sustain. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the gain up a little bit. Let's go to halfway. Okay, let's check out uh, some of the EQ settings now. Uh, let's turn the mids down, get a little scoop sound here. I'm gonna go up a little on the treble and bass. So the treble and bass are about uh, about 1.30, 2 o'clock. Mid I've turned down to about 10, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot more of a heavy metal sound. And you can see those were pretty small adjustments I made on the EQ. Okay, let's go even farther. Okay, I can put the treble and bass at about 3 o'clock, mids at about 9. And again, I'm only about halfway up on the gain. thing I really like about this pedal is you can get a lot of different sounds by changing the EQ. They're very aggressive EQs. Okay, let's turn the gain up a little bit more and see how it sounds. Okay, I've leveled out the EQs again. Uh, gain is about 3 o'clock, about 75%.
gain a little higher, let's get a nice scoop sound. Turn the mids down, treble up, bass up. Check it out. Okay, let's crank the gain all the way up. That's getting into like a death metal type distortion. That's pretty gnarly. Okay, uh, let's turn the gain down just a little bit, about three o'clock. Let's go the other way. Let's crank the mids up, maybe take the bass out a little bit. So treble and bass are at noon, mids are at three. As you can hear, it makes a huge difference in the tone. Okay, so that was just by changing the mids. Okay, now let's check out the top boost feature of this pedal. Put my EQs back to about 12 o'clock, gains at about 3 o'clock. Now let's turn on the top boost. As you can hear it really boosts the high end, the treble, and a little bit of the mids. I've seen another review on this pedal, and one thing that is easy to misunderstand is the top boost is not meant to be used all the time. The top boost is meant to be used when you're playing live and you go to a solo and you need you need your guitar to cut through the mix a little bit better. That's really what it's used for. If you use it all the time, I personally, I think it would make you know your guitar sound kind of tinny and, and a little too harsh to use all the time. The regular distortion is a lot thicker, a lot better sounding for rhythm work, and the top boost you kick in when you're going to do a solo. Okay, that's the Metal Muff with Top Boost by Electro Harmonics. Uh, made in the USA, it's got a solid, solid metal case, extremely durable. I feel like if I had to break into somebody's apartment, I could chuck this through the window and it would be fine, no problem. And uh, yeah, you've got your EQs up here, the top boost control is right here, level for the output, distortion, top boost activation, and your bypass right here. Um, the one negative thing about this pedal, it eats batteries like nobody's business. It's insane, okay? Um, I do recommend you get the 9-volt, uh, optional 9-volt jack. If you're going to play live with this, I would I would say don't play more than two shows without playing the, basically two nights without playing without replacing the battery because um, of all the pedals I have this goes through batteries the fastest. All right, that's it. Other than that, it's a kick-ass pedal. You can get some extreme death metal tones out of it, or if you want, dial back the EQs, dial back the gain. You can get a nice blues sound out of it too. Pretty much anything you want. Uh, check it out.